So we're gonna talk here for a real hot minute about lenses. I think that there's a tendency for people like me, people that aren't as deep in the legitimately complicated math of optics to look at lenses, these incredibly complicated, incredibly precise, expensive, and alarmingly analog collections of glass and metal and kind of just go, okay, it focuses okay, it's got an aperture to control the amount of light that comes through, that's all I need to know. And especially when you've got an integrated zoom lens stuck on the front of your camera, like we do, that you can't take off, and you never have to think about pulling a prime lens out of a lens case somewhere. And hey, you know, fair enough. I don't pretend to understand the math behind something like depth of field, which is one of the things that we're going to be talking about today. But we as people that like to point lenses at things, we need to have a functional knowledge of the concepts that affect the way our shots look, even if we're not mathematicians. So we're going to start from bare dirt basics here and hopefully build up that level of functional knowledge so that we can say that even if we don't understand this shit, we still know enough to know what we're doing when we point a lens at something. So what does a lens do? It collects a certain amount of light from a certain section of the world and it bends it and screws with it and flips it so that it hits a frame of film or the sensor in a video camera or the back of your eye in a coherent, organized way. And lenses are measured and differentiated from each other in terms of focal length, which is what people are talking about when they talk about a 10 millimeter lens or a 75 millimeter lens or a 150 millimeter lens. And how you get those numbers is through some relatively complicated, really boring math. But what it means functionally is this. The focal length of a given lens determines its angle of view. And what's angle of view? Well, okay, so here's the world. And there's you looking at the world through a lens. Well, more than one lens, because you've got lenses in your eyes, but you take my point. And this lens, the one in our camera, can see a certain section of the world at any given point in time. A certain number of degrees out of the 360 that surround it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally at any given point. And when you change the focal length of a lens, you change the angle of view. The larger the focal length, the narrower the angle of view, which means you see trees. The smaller the focal length, the wider the angle of view, which means you see the forest. Of course, there's more to it than that, but that's a good functional beginning. When you're shooting something static, where the foreground doesn't matter all that much and you're trying to choose what lens to use, just choose what you want to shoot, the forest or the trees. With a longer lens, one with a much narrower angle of view, I'm sharp here and here, but blurry by the time I get here. 